a gym at an iconic hotel where Frank Sinatra and Winston Churchill were once guests will shut as pictures emerge of disgusting, changing areas. Spindle's Health and Leisure Club, based at the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool city centre, announced it will close its doors on March 23. The sudden closure, announced with no explanation, has sparked fears gymgoers could lose out on hundreds of pounds after shelling up for 12-month memberships, the Liverpool Echo reports. One unhappy member claimed the gym is currently understaffed, while pictures have been shared of changing areas covered in black mould and visible filth on sanitary mats. Pictures have been shared showing mould on the ladies' changing room door, image, Liverpool at Cho WS and filth on floors, image, Liverpool at Cho WS bosses dismissed claims the gym was filthy as, absolute nonsense, image, Liverpool at Cho WS, another image shows exposed wires in shower area. Bosses at Britannia Hotels, which runs the Adelphi, dismissed claim the gym was filthy as, absolute nonsense. A spokesperson said they take issues of health and safety seriously, and insist that all equipment is perfectly safe at all times. But Delroy Burris, 67, who has been a Spindles member for several years said the gym has gone downhill since the number staff were reduced. Exposed wires can be seen in a shower area, image, Liverpool at Cho WS, members say the gym has gone downhill, since staff were reduced, image, Liverpool at Cho WS, he said, in the last few months they've got rid of a lot of staff. They've got to clean the gym, man the till and they're basically left to do everything on their own. It's gone downhill, it's disgusting. We pay to be there, and I know it's not a lot of money to some people, but if you're on a fixed income it really is. It's in a terrible state, it's filthy. The former plasterer raised concerns he may not get his money back after paying £80 for a 12-month subscription at a special OAP rate. Mold can be seen on doors and walls, image, Liverpool at Cho WS, he said, I came into the gym one day and I was just told it was closing down. The staff are losing their jobs and whenever we've asked questions we've been told we'd just get a check in the post. When we try to speak to a manager to see if we're getting all of our money back, or just some of it, they just say that the manager won't speak to us. I don't want them to just send a check because I want to be able to dispute it if I don't agree with the amount they offer me. It might not seem a lot but I'm on a limited income, and I know a lot of other people are in the same situation as me. It could be hundreds when you add it up. Delroy claims there have been no notices put up at the gym to inform customers of the closure, other than a one-line announcement on hotel owners Britannia's website. Winston Churchill has stayed at the Adelphi Hotel, image, Imperial War Museums. Frank Sinatra is also a former guest, image, Getty. It reads, Our health. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. But addressing the claims it is, filthy, a spokesperson said, This is absolute nonsense. We take issues of health and safety seriously and ensure that all our equipment and changing facilities are perfectly safe at all times. World leaders including Britain's wartime Prime Minister Winston Churchill and US President Franklin D. Roosevelt have frequented the Adelphi. High-profile guests also include Frank Sinatra, Bob Dylan, Laurel and Hardy and Judy Garland when they performed at the city's Empire Theatre.